Alrighties, ladies and gentlemen, let's get going. This is week one of our APA Academy versus mid Pokemaster. Um, we got our team here. Um, let's check what he brought too. So he, okay, okay. Oh boy, this is going to be a fun matchup because it's a Melmetal versus Melmetal. So he brought Sylveon, Ruin Origus, uh, Seismitoad, Curum, Galvantula, and Melmetal. Alright, so basically what we have is we have a Life Orb Haxorus, which is SD3 attacks, Close Combat Jab Outrage, which basically just mm, likes to click buttons. Oh, he already chose his thing. Um, I don't have any rocks or anything, so what's a good lead here? Mm, maybe Skunk Tank, Sucker Punch, Flamethrower, Poison Jab, Play Rough. Mm, I have... You know what? I'm going to just lead with Terrakion. I like that plan. But, um... Terrakion is just sub. Toxic. Protect. Close combat. So we're going to lead out with that, because that's going to beat this Runarigus that he's just going to lead out with. And let's get going. Okay, so... Um, also, other stats, we got Rotom, which is max defense for the freaking Melmetal that is busted. Um, we got uh, Sub Bulk Up Rillaboom, which is Drain Punch Drum Beating, Dual Stab. He went Galvantula, um, so he's probably going to get Webs Up, which is a pretty bad for my um, Haxorus. Especially, oh, I do have uh, Defog, though, so I don't mind s just subbing up here. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We already know. We already know. We know these things. Perfect. No webs are up on the field. We got a sub up. Jay's sword is in. I love me some Jason DeFrench. And we are going to Toxic here. Easiest click button of my life. There's nothing that wants to get toxic the only thing that is, is Melmetal, and he's not going to bring in Melmetal on a Terrakion. That's behind a sub. Oh, wait. Double Iron Bash would destroy it, though. That's crazy. So we are going to Toxic here. Get that big damage off. You know what I'm saying? He's going to Earth Power. But Runarigus is a physical attacker. No... And there goes the poison. Perfect. I am just going to protect here. Um, actually... I'm just going to go to Rillaboom. Might as well go into it right now. Um, don't think he'll be able to break my sub here either. So we're going to just show that... Sub Toxic, we just that's all we showed. So, you know, he's Earth Power. Get that Grassy Surge up. I don't think he would... I think he's going to click rocks here. Or Earth Power again. Okay, he Earth Powered again. And how old do I take this? Oh, I eat! Oh my god, easiest sub of my life. Let's take it. Um, what does he go into this? Galvantula? Like, drum beating's still going to do a decent amount. No? Okay. So, I'm 100% just going to sub up. With all the recovery and everything, Galvantula, I'll be able to eat one. Hopefully, unless he's expert belt something, because I am very specially defensive. Mm hmm Perfect. So, even with the sub... Oh, cure him! Interesting. Interesting, okay. So we're going to get that Leftovers. And the Grassy Surge. So he's out in the Curum. Full HP. In my face. Um, Because what? How much is that going to do to me? Is it going to be Ice Beam or... Hmm. 
Do I drum beating first to get him the minus one? I kind of like that. But then drain punch also is pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to drain punch here. Because I need... I, I would rather have damage off on this Kiram. So it is freeze dry. So it's not going to be that strong. But still. It's going to probably... Yeah, it's going to break my sub. And then we're just going to drain punch up. Okay, that does a good chunk. That does a good chunk. Mm-hmm. Perfect. So that's grassy terrain. Yep. I don't see an item. So he's not choppable for shirzels. Um, I'm going to go into Stinky Idiot here. As he's probably just going to freeze dry again. And then I'll get the grassy terrain back. And I can just kind of click a button here. Because we do have the Rune Regis... Already toxic. Um, I like to play fast, by the way, if you guys haven't noticed. This is a salt vest. This should be able to eat something. Earth power. Not too bad. I'll be able to eat this. Oh, that is a lot. Is that modest? That's got to be modest. Okay. Well, it's good to know. Because that did 100 damage? Or 120 damage. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't think I can go into Rotom on this. Because I need my Rotom specifically for the Melmetal. Actually... Yeah, no. Rillaboom is a, uh, actual... I'm just going to click Play Rough here. If he kills me, he kills me. Um, I don't really necessarily need this for the Sylveon because I could deal with it other ways. He does going to go for the Earth Power. Oh, and I live. I love it. I you love to see it. Stinky idiot. Okay, perfect. Alright, cool. So we're just going to get a nice uh, Sucker Punch off too. So he's going to be pretty low. He switched up moves, which is good. Which means he's not... Uh, not Scarfed. Um, yeah, I'm just going to click... Don't need Sucker Punch for anything else. A Galvantula would be nice. Um, but no, I'm just going to click Sucker Punch. Stinky idiot. It failed. Oh, he's Roost! Oh, he got me. He got me hard. Um, good thing is, is I just go into Haxorus on this no matter what, and I still get... I'm just going to click Sucker Punch anyway. He's precious. He could precious all me all he wants. But I could get a 50-50 right. Okay, cool. So we get the damage off. He freeze dries. Perfect. That's fine. Source Kung Tank is down. see i don't see uh, any problem going into j sword here and just i could click close combat now because the rune regus is already toxic so i have no problem just clicking it i do have the rillaboom to come in on it if he goes to the rune regus but this is just the easiest close combat i have seen because i wonder how much seismitoad and sylveon are going to want to take because I don't know if he wants to switch into them because the fact that they're toxic. Alright, I am toxic. I already showed that. He's not Choppel, so I can just cl clearly just go for this. Yeah. He's going to go into Rune Regus. That's totally fine. Mm-hmm. That's fine. I could, I could stay in here as long as I want. Yep, go ahead and toxic damage. I haven't shown protect yet. But I kind of want him to think that I have something to hit the Galvantula. So I'm just going to go for sub first. Yes, sir. That's what I like to see. Okay, 
so this thing is getting chips, which is pretty good. I like to see it. Um, do I reveal the? Um, I think I'm just gonna reveal the protect now because I am behind a sub. So what do I have for Galvantula right now? Haxorus can take a hit. Melmetal can take a hit, but like. I don't really know what I can do back to it. Um, you know what? We're gonna reveal it protect. Because I just feel like just getting more and more toxic chip on this is better. I literally don't see what I lose by clicking protect again. Going for the double protect. Um, he's starting to lose a lot of damage, so I'm just yeah, I'm just gonna go for that double protect. That's a quick click, so nothing on my part. That's draining the clock. Yes, sir. Got the double protect. Easy. It's gonna earth power. That's fine. I'm gonna click toxic this turn because I can. Like this thing cannot touch me behind the sub. It's toxic. Um, I hope he's not rest, which is the only issue here. Let's see how much this does now. Okay, he's at half. That's gonna do like 30%. Um, I'm gonna click toxic just in case he wants to switch out. If not, like he could just destroy my sub. Yeah, that's fine. Alrighty. Um, this is very interesting. Because he's going to get a little bit above half there. And Toxic's going to take him down there. Okay, so next turn he is dying to Toxic. Um, I'm just going to protect up. Yeah. I just protect up. No no needing to waste HP for a sub because he's just gonna destroy it. Yeah. And we get up back to full pretty much, which is good. I think he dies here to toxic, which is awesome. I don't mind. Perfect. Cool. Runarigus is down <laughs> due to toxic stalling, which I, I feel kind of bad about, but like I, I made this bet specifically because I knew Runarigus was coming. Because that was his best track check. So, killed. Sylveon's out now. Um. I don't have a problem toxicing this thing. I don't think he has Heal Belt because he would have used it. Um, Hyper Force is going to kill me probably. This is really good versus the rest of his team. So I'm going to save this for sure. Then I'm going to go straight into Melmetal I think. Which is... Hopefully he doesn't click Mystical Fire which would be come bad. But we are just going to go right into our Melmetal. It should be able to take a hit. Hyperverse, yeah, he was not messing around with that. Boom. Alright, we're going to Dynama or Gigantamax right now. And yeah, let's just Meltdown. Might as well. There's not too much he could switch into this. There really just isn't. Runarigus is down. Seismitoad is his switch in, and I have the overgrowth for it. Let's get that thumbnail. Oh boy, do it to him. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I wish I clicked it on the switch, dude. It's alright. It's alright. Look at that big boy. 
and I, by the way, I played my week two game already. And, oh, I can't get spoilers out. So this is gonna, that's gonna do half. Perfect, perfect, perfect. He's gonna think that he's gonna be able to live. Oh, that's a crit anyway. It does not matter. He's going to, boom. You ready for this? You ready for this? You ready for this? The quickest click I've ever seen in my entire life. Max overgrowth. I don't think y'all ever seen it. Earth power? E. E. Yes, sir. It's happening. Thumbnail. 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 Bye-bye Seismitoad. And we got one more turn with grassy terrain up. Awesome. 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 I'm so glad that worked. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. I am the goat. It's goat. It's goat week one. Let's go. For show. For show. So, we're up. Up two now. Cool, cool. Mm -mm. So, Seismitoad is down as well. So, Mel kills Size. Overgrowth. What is his switch into this? Which is the big question. Um, Turak killed Rune. Toxic. Um, Gunk tank. Oh, so it was Kiram killed Skunk tank. Sound his own mill metal. Perfect. Um. Special defense stats. Where is my attack stat? I'm going to max Knuckle here, try to get plus one, and then superpower his. Uh, whatever we can do to waste turns is totally fine with me. I don't need this Spadef. Um, I know Quake is probably going to do a little bit more. But I feel like the attack raise is going to be better. Oh, he's not... He's not... Uh, like, Gigantamax. Is this a problem? Um, I don't know. We're going to play it out. If we need to, we can recreate. Uh, yeah, let's see how this does. Okay, so I eat that. It's gonna throw up Sandstorm, or he's gonna plus one special defense. He was faster than me. Okay, cool, so that's plus one right there. Um, so I'm gonna die this next one. But I'm going to do the, the switchy switch. Do I switch him to the freaking Rotom? Let's see. Uh oh. Game? Game, what's wrong? Okay, whew! Um. Hmm. I'm just gonna superpower. Uh, I don't have anything to switch into this. This mon is busted. So we're just gonna superpower. Uh, hopefully if it's a speed tie, I get the speed tie. Uh, but yeah, like this thing is disgusting. I'm glad I got the thumbnail though. That was 100% the only reason why I went max ogre overgrowth. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm. It's taking a long time to think about what move he wants to go for. You can't really... Look how fly I look, honestly. I'm styling. I'm styling. Basic mid over there. I'm styling. Uh, yeah, I don't know why he didn't have the... The, like, the Gigantamax? Or Dynamax? It's Gigantamax, yeah. The G-Max form. But, uh, I don't think it really mattered because he's not going to be clicking the steel move anyway. Um, there's no other thing other than an aesthetic. So he's taken a long time. I hope he didn't disconnect. I think I put like four EVs on this thing. Oh, there we go.
I put 20 EVs, so he's going to kill me with Max Knuckle. That's fine. He crit me. Um, I don't need... I don't need... Actually... Crit maybe mattered? I don't think so, but it might have. You know, who knows? I don't want to calc that right now. I don't want to waste time. I'm going to go into Mel is Broke. Literally the thing made for this thing. Mel Metal is broke. Yes, sir. We shiny out in here. And we are just going to Willow. Because if he darkest lariats... Yes, sir. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Thank God. Max Lightning. He's going to get Electric Terrain up for his... For his Galvantula. Interesting. Um, I wonder why he didn't have... Dark type move. But it's fine. And we ate that. Okay, so literally this thing is no longer an issue. This isn't an issue at all. It's burned. That's plus one. And that was... Electric Punch. Or Thunder Punch. Max. Um... I could freely just go for Shadow Balls now. Or actually... Kyrim, Galvantula, and Sylveon. I'm going to go for another Will-O-Wisp. I could always Pain Split back up. Because I kind of want to... Actually, you know what? Shadow Ball is probably the best play. Do a big chunk. Nope, that does nothing. Double Iron Bash. One. Two. Wow. That does absolutely zero. Uh, that, that does way too much for being burned, to be honest with you. There's no hazards up. I don't need a defog. Uh, yeah, just Shadow Ball. This was the only thing that Rotom was here for. Literally was to get this thing burned and just chip it down. Um, I think at this point, we have a decent chance of winning with uh, Haxorus. We just need to get that Galvantula out of the way, which I think we might be able to do. Four, sixty-eight. 68 that does about 30 so it's 60 total mm, I'm just gonna pain slip yeah even though he's like right there he has way more HP than me so I'm just gonna paint split up get above to where the kill range is then he'll have burn damage again and be lower, and then I'll kill a Shadow Ball. Now let's see how much we get. Yep, probably just enough to live, maybe. If not, not the worst thing. Low roll, please. That's what I like to see. Awesome. I think that's in range now of Shadow Ball. Like I said, this thing was only... Uh, we are also stalling out the terrain, which I do like. Oh, okay. So he's going to kill me, and then he's going to die, which is fine. Which means... Which means I get Terrakion out. Rillaboom is really just not useful at all right now. I did not put a whole lot of uh, investment into... I think Terrakion is like almost max speed, almost, and with... Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. 
Um, I am going to click Toxic here because I want this thing on a timer. This is the only thing stopping Haxorus from winning right now. Um, if he switches into Sylveon or Curum, that's fine. Um, if he switches into Sylveon, that's fine because I can just protect stall that. But, like, this thing was just here to be fast, get the Toxics off, and then stall out Thunder. Okay, don't get the para, please. Um, actually, it's fine as long as we get the Toxic off. Perfect. Oh, he's Life Orb. Awesome. That's fine. That's fine. This is totally fine. All right, he's now on a timer. I think we win with Haxorus in the back. Hmm. How would I do that? Just to get stuff back up. Um, well, here's the thing, is if he clicks Sticky Webs. So I feel like he might have Sticky Webs. Um, I'm just going to close combat. He let him kill me. If not, I get Chip off. Energy Ball. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. We're going to go into Rillaboom, just to kind of wear this thing out more. Life Orb. Toxic. In Gorilla Boom, we could probably eat a single Bug Buzz. And then we... Oh, wait a minute. Do we SD on him? I think that might be the play. Is we SD to get the, the kill? Because I don't think Sylveon's going to die to Poison Jab. I might have just choked, I think. Uh, you know what? No, Drum Beating is the play. Get him slower. Let him kill me. Fine, perfect. That's what I wanted. Drum beating is going to do like zero. Oh, that's going to do way more. I think he's going to die here. Yeah, he's going to die here. I think he wins with his... Um the Sylveon, though. Darn. I, now that I think about that, because I didn't get any chip off on it, did it? No, I didn't. Oh, I thought I had this in the bag. Oh, no. Because he's for sure going to be defensive, and I think he's going to have Kebia. That is what I'm thinking he's going to be. Pretty sure that's fine. And drain Punch just to get as much chip off. Freeze dry, that's fine. Okay. So I have Outrage, Close Combat, Poison Jab. And SD. So I... Oh, wait, I have Unnerve! Oh my god, wait a minute. If this is a thing... If this is a thing, dude... Um... Perish. Just perish. I'm going to click Close Combat, because I can't click Outrage. Yeah. Okay, that's down. Okay. Now, let's see. Does Life Orb Haxorus versus a Sylveon? Let's say level 50. Poison Jab has a chance to kill if he is no defense but max HP. And his hyper voice always kills me. Well, this is this is now a roll of if I get a crit or if he's no defense, which I doubt he is. So I think it's a good game to mid. Another roller coaster, dude. These are these are fun games. Um but yeah, uh this was hella fun. We're just gonna have to click our poison jab. GG to mid. I think he wins here because I don't think this kills. Yeah, he lives one. Perfect. Darn it. Um, Yeah, GG to mid. That was super close.
another it's a 1-0 1-0 loss but i'll i'll take it it was a really close game no no real hacks which is which is pretty cool uh but yeah um good thing i got the thumbnail because i lost that 1-0 so close on to the next one week three here we come gg mid peace out guys